Hey guys, this is Harry with UberTech, and I'm going to give you a few quick tips today for your Xbox One. So the first tip is to find out how much bandwidth you get from your provider, like Comcast or whoever you have. So what you're going to do is click on the start button, and then go down to settings, hit A, and then you're going to select network, and then you're going to select detailed network stats. Once you do that, this is going to test your network connection and it's also going to find out like how much bandwidth you have as far as download and upload. And this is going to run for a little bit. And so here you can see my download speed is 178.73 megabits per second and then my upload speed is 23.95. You can also see there's no packet loss, which that's what you want. So on to the next tip. So you're going to back out of that. You're going to stay, you're going to hit B twice to get back into your settings. And then what you're going to do is, uh, this one's to show you, um, I don't know if anybody's used it, but if you have a connect, it's a pretty nice feature. If you say Xbox raised volume, it'll only raise the volume three times. But if you want, you can change that to seven or 10, I think the maximum is 10. So watch, I'll show you. So if you go over to display and sound, and you select that, over here where it says change, change volume with voice. So what you do is you click on that, and so depending on which one's highlighted, means how, how many steps up or how many steps down the Xbox will change the volume when you say Xbox volume up or Xbox volume down. So right now I have seven steps. So that means that it's like pushing the volume button seven times up or seven times down. And I feel like that's like the perfect setting for the uh, raising or lowering the volume, at least on my TV. So once you're done that, um, you hit A on whatever steps you want, hit B to get back. And then the last one is to clear your cache for your Xbox One. So a lot of times they might say if you're getting errors to clear your cache, um, or you could just do a hard reset, or they might ask you to do both. So in order to clear your cache, you're gonna go over to disk and Blu-ray. You're gonna select that, and then it says persistent storage. You hit A, and then here it'll say clear persistent storage. And what you do is you just click on A and you do it, I do it twice. And the reason why I do it twice is because the when I talked to a um, Xbox rep, they told me to do it twice. Uh, just to make sure that it clears out the storage, any kind of cache that's in there. And then basically that's it, you're done. So those are the three tips that I have for today for the Xbox One. If you have any other questions or comments about this video, please feel free to add them in the comments. And if you haven't already, please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and thanks again for watching.